What's good with the Wolf Pack? We are back with Jonah Lupus Broski. I haven't heard this. It's been out for a couple of days. I haven't heard this. I don't know what this is about. I, I just know people have been going crazy about it. So, hell, I'm not even going to talk too much. Let's check it out. I'm hoping I won't look down. That dude looks like he wants to cry. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. He looks like he's about to cry, bro. Jonah looks like he doesn't want to be there. That's the fair, right off the bat. I've got to, he looks like he doesn't want to be there. That they they kind of forced him or something. What's it what? Today I had a conversation with one of my bros. My homie, he's been close to me since we were six years old. Yeah. He calls my mama mom. He's seen all of my highs and lows. From school fights to sharing clothes. From b-ball to fucking hoes. He sat me down and let me know some things he never told me. Things he never got a chance to say or even show me. He said, I know that I don't tell you often. Maybe not even at all. But I'm so proud of you and your success, broski. And I admire how you chase your dreams. That's just courageous. Thank you for never switching up when you got rich and famous. Thank you for never giving up on me or having lesser love for me. Whenever we lose touch and be on different pages. Mm. I hope you know I'm here for you the way you there for me. It's crazy you done more for me than all my family tree. Mm. And when I say I got your back, just know I really squeeze. And make some niggas really bleed. That's really what I really mean. I'm proud of how much you matured and grew, but you still you. The world knows you for your talent, but I know the real you. And all your Ooh, traumas... Shit. Like, okay, okay, right on the bat, I can say... You look, they, they are talking or he's talking to Joyner saying, yeah, we've been close forever. I mean, the world just got to know you, but I, I've known you since forever. <laughs> like, I knew you when you were in diapers, brother. I, I know the real you, not the you you put out on the internet. That's tough. Behind closed doors you never hail through And all the pain you act like you don't feel But you still do I love the fact you keep your shit together mentally You work hard for your respect Don't need no empathy mm -hmm. When people look you over and shut you out intentionally You always said if they don't fuck with you They will eventually Ooh. Remember when I went to prison When I did a bid and you the only one that came to visit Put money on my books and sent me pictures of some bitches They don't make them like you no more My nigga you just different and bro, you ain't have to pay my niece's tuition. Mm. You set me up with that new job and try to teach me the business. Oof. You quick to hold me down before you speak your opinion. What goes around comes around, and that's the reason you winning. But listen, I was thinking maybe, since you my broski and I've been there since we was babies, you can hit the bank and break me off with something wavy. Maybe nah, 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 nah. I don't like where this story is going. I mean, from what I gathered, Jonah has helped him out forever. I mean, he went to jail, he paid his niece's tuition and all that shit. He set him up with a job and now he's begging for money. Look, Jenna has a good way of telling stories, man. I, I want to understand what's going on here. But I am, but shit, I don't like where this is headed. Come on, man. You don't help you out a lot. To my broski and I've been there since we was babies. You can hit the bank and break me off with something wavy. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a couple hundred thousand, nothing crazy. Because I've been hurting lately. A couple hundred thousand is nothing crazy. Are you in this? Hey. I deserve it, maybe. And if you can't do it, that's cool. It ain't like I'll Did be he angry. say he deserves it? And I deserve it, maybe. And if you can't do it, that's cool. It ain't like I'll be angry. You still my broski and I love you, but that's kind of shady. Because I've been going through some shit. It ain't like I'm just lazy. So maybe you should pay me. I quit my job. Cause oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. Now he's acting entitled as hell. Shit, he deserves it. Man, Joyner, he don't work his ass off, man. While you was going to jail, he was working his ass off. Man, what you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about, man? What on earth are you talking about? Come on, I don't want to work for no other niggas. Well, maybe works for some, don't work for some other niggas. Yeah, they pay good, but you know I'm a stubborn nigga. Mm. I know you got my back, right? If not, then fuck it, I ain't asking again. Just don't forget who walk with you when you're back to the wind. 
And don't forget whose ideas I got you rapping again When you lost your passion and got lazy and was slacking and shit And please don't treat me like them niggas that be asking for shit Cause I never asked you for a damn thing I'd rather pull a hamstring and then run across some fan blades While jumping out an airplane Or sitting in a damn rain while begging for some spare change I'm sorry that we all can't be talented and rich like you The little people still struggle, we ain't lit like you And if we being honest, it don't really seem like you want me to chase my dreams So I can get like you And lately you've been on some sucker shit, that's what I see, broski I hope you know that hater shit is a disease, broski Cause last time I checked, we was a fucking team And just because you got paper don't mean that you better than me, broski I know everything about you, I know every single secret I know where you rest your head at, I know every bitch you sleep with I know where you keep your bread at, I pretend that I don't see shit You a greedy motherfucker, you been hoping I don't be shit You been getting fat while I been starving You been buying every car and house while I been in the garbage I deserve everything you got and more and that's a bargain You just wanna shit on me and see me fall and that's alarming You just hoping I'ma tarnish, you don't want me to be nothing You don't wanna open doors for me, you did a little something But you coulda did a little more for me No wonder why your father turned his back on you unfortunately No wonder why your niggas set them traps on you to sorcery You ain't nothing but a phony, you a liar, you a snake And you can rap, but you ain't Kendrick, you ain't cold, you ain't Drake Can't believe I called you family, I should shoot you in the face you Used to act like you was real, but always knew that you was fake You let the fame get to your head and all it did Nah, this is where friendship turns to entitlement Like, Joyner has been his friend Has helped him out now he see what he sees what Joyner has and he's like, I deserve that. He has seen Joyner grow since he was six to where he is now. He has seen Joyner work his ass off. He has seen people put him down for his art and his music. And now you ask for shit and he ain't even answered you yet. He hasn't even answered and you are already feeling entitled saying if he doesn't give you and now you're threatening him with a gun, man, that is foul. This man was there for you, brother. Come on, man. <laughs> this is some messed up shit. It was made you whack. I always knew the day would come when you would stab me in my back. One day your money gonna be gone and I'll be happy, that's a fact. And then you'll move back to the hood and I'll be laughing when you back. But you my nigga and I love you. And I wanna see you win. I wouldn't place no one. Hey, can you see the passive aggressiveness with this shit? He is being so passive aggressive. Like, yeah, you, I'm asking you for something, but you don't have to give me. But then in the back of his voice is like, if you don't give me, you a bitch. If you don't give me, I, th then you hate me. You don't want to see me grow. But he's asking for a couple thousand dollars. That is mental. He set you up with a job and you say you don't want to work it, man. That is fucked. Above you, and you always been my friend since we were stepping in the puddles. Real niggas don't pretend because I watch how he keeps reminding him how they have always been friends. Like, they you we've always been friends, and I will keep being friends with you as far as you keep fucking funding my life. And that's far. My brother, you my double, you my motherfucking twin. And I want to let you know how I appreciate the things you show me. It's kind of hard to trust niggas, that's why I keep you closely. And look, I know that I don't tell you often, maybe not even at all, but I'm so proud of you and your success, bros. Bro, bro, bro. I'm hoping I won't look down. Hey, long enough to see me down. And if I ever come down, I'll be falling on the sun. Does not see. Hey, long enough to see me down. Mm. And if I ever come down. I'll be falling on the sorry. Hey, hey, that's nasty, man. This entire story just shows you how friends switch up when you got money. When when you when you start making some kind of money, certain people in your life start to feel entitled, man. That is what? Hey, credits to Joyner, man. He is an amazing storyteller. And I love when he gets into his space, where he's able to tell a story and deliver it in, 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 the, song, in the form of a dialogue, man. He did it with um, um, I'm Not Racist. Beautiful song. Even when he tries to have dialogues with God in, like, devil's work and shit. Hey, and I'm gone.